You are watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester and the Hudson Valley. Now, the daytime edition. Well, coming up next on the show, we're in the daytime kitchen making a sweet treat. I have one thing to say, ice cream brownies, perfect to enjoy during the warm weather. <laughs> edition here on News 12 and you know I'd love to get right to our guest here but I'm smelling I'm smelling the brownies <laughs> Julius Walls is here from Grayston Bakery and I keep saying I will well, ask you about the bakery and I'm kind of drifting over toward towards these good morning thank you for joining us thank you for having us I appreciate uh, being here with you you know we're going to be making these ice cream sandwiches but first tell us a little bit about Grayston Bakery for anybody who doesn't know about it sure we make four million pounds of the best brownies you'd ever like to get um, from uh, people who have had a hard time getting jobs, getting an opportunity to get employment and take care of their family. So they come in and they work with us and we give them jobs. All of our profits go to the Grayson Foundation, which builds housing, child care centers, and health care for people who live in so good, good, good food and good work. Let's yes. get right to the brownies. Sure, okay, so, so we start with what, what kind of brownie is this? This is the Do Goody Brownie. This is our new brownie that we just released and we would like to teach people how to feed their conscious with an ice cream sandwich, mm. a brownie ice cream sandwich. And so what we're going to start with is first with the ice cream. My okay. favorite brand is the Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Right. There. They make all of their ice cream with brownies from Grayson Bakery. Okay, and I and see so that it's good to have the ice cream a little bit melted it's already. It's a little softened, tempered, so that we can uh, blend in the blueberries we have. We have right. some organic blueberries here, mm -hmm. and we're going to put some strawberries in as well. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, yeah. and we're going to blend that in. And you're folding because you don't want to... You don't want to whip. You want yeah. to fold it in because you want to just make sure that the blueberries and the strawberries don't get beat up. Even though if they did get crushed all together, that would still be pretty good. <laughs> I think it, so. Absolutely. Now, Grayson is, is famous for making the brownies for all sorts of different companies, aren't they? Yes, we make the brownies for Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream and a few other premium ice cream brands as well. Um, those top lines. And we're just going to scoop some ice cream there mm -hmm. and then you would put it on the top. And you place it in your freezer for about 30, 45 minutes. Now, do you have to wrap it in wax paper? You don't need to do that. Like if you're that? only going to put it in for 30, 45 minutes, you're fine. Can you eat it just like that? You can <laughs> eat it just like that. In fact, some people like to do that, and they might top it off with some whipped cream if they'd like. Okay. And put a little topping there. We have one here already ready for you to Julia, try. Julia, this doesn't seem like it's very dietetic. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to So if you want to add the extra calories and the extra fun, you can do a little dollop. A little of, dollop. A dollop. Just a little that, dollop. That's a lot of dollop. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Now, kids can make this, can't they? Anyone can make this. This is so simple. It's a great um, dessert. I mean, if, if somebody's doing a dinner party in the summertime, they can prepare this ahead of time and put it in the freezer and then have it ready for the guests when that. And you could even it. actually, with the blueberries and the strawberries, you could use frozen. You could use frozen. We use uh, organic. Of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> and um, our brownies are all natural, and the Ben & Jerry's ice cream is also all natural. Right. And now the brownies, you, of course, we say that you, have, you make your own. But for people who are trying to do this at home, you don't mind doing the mix you don't mind no nope. no yeah this is very easy to do um, our recipe is also on our website and we also have a cookbook Grayson Bakery cookbook which has all of our recipes in there for you to make many many desserts cakes and brownies and all that kind of stuff and these brownies can be found in um, Whole Foods, Balducci's, and Mrs. Green's right here in the Westchester area. What a great summer treat. What, what's something, what's coming up for Grayson Bakery? What can we expect for the future? Well, we're going to release a couple more flavors with the Do Goody Brownie. Um, this fall, you'll get some new exciting flavors, and we'll come back and tell you what those flavors are. Oh, and Julius, you're a teaser. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll come back to, wait a second. <laughs> well, hold on a second. He's, 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 he's teasing us here with the, with the brownies. Okay, so uh, we have the brownies here, and the, are there cookies? cookies and coming? cookies are coming in 2009. Mm, 2009? I don't think we can wait for that. Yeah, yeah, we have. I mean, we want to come out slowly, as you said, build you up yes. towards our, our new flavor. All right. Well, Julia from Grayston Bakery, this is a terrific, easy summer treat. Yeah, it's very easy to make, and you can do it in five minutes. Okay. Well, maybe what if you have to cook the brownies? Well, you, you, you can cook the brownies, or you can get the do-goody brownies. All right. More daytime is coming up. Stay with us right here on News 12.